Pro Reports extension works in tandem with main WP child reports plugin, which needs to be installed on all child sites for which you wish to create reports. So the first step is to install the main WP child reports plugin. We will do so from the main WP dashboard. Go to the plugins, install plugins page. Search for main WP child reports plugin and select it. Then select the desired child sites from the sidebar and click complete installation. The next step is to install the Pro Reports extension. Go to the extensions page, click the install extensions button, look for Pro Reports in the agency tab, select it, and click the install selected extensions button. Let's now synchronize the dashboard. This is important so the dashboard knows which sites have the child reports plugin installed. Please keep in mind that Child Reports is responsible for logging any and all events that end up in the reports, so the reports cannot have any information about events that may have happened before the Child Reports plugin was installed. To avoid creating a report for each individual child site or client separately, we can enter client information such as client email and client name and then use tokens when configuring the report. Navigate to Clients, and then either edit one of the existing clients or create a new one. The page for editing a client or creating a new one looks the same, so you will have the same fields available for you when creating or editing a client. Here we want to enter the client name, which is required, and the client email, which we will use for sending reports. Finally, attach the desired child sites to this client. And press the Add Clients button. We are now ready to start creating a report. Navigate to Extensions, Pro Reports. On the dashboard page of the extension, you will see a list of child sites that have the main WP child reports plugin installed. The usual handy main WP shortcuts, such as jump to site WP admin are also present. Including information about when the report was last sent for a child site and how big is the reports database table. Let's create a new report. Enter the title of the report. Then select the report type, either one-time or recurring. In this example, we will be configuring an automated monthly report, so we will select recurring. And then in the schedule dropdown, we will select monthly. And let's set it to go out on the first of the month. If you wish, you can enter a custom file name for the PDF, which will be attached to the email. Then select the style of the PDF in the report template dropdown. Pro Report Agency is our latest template, so let's select it here. Let's now customize the PDF report. You can define a custom report heading and introductory and closing messages here. These fields support tokens. Click on Insert Tokens to see which ones are available. In the Report Data tab, you can choose which sections should be included in the report. The number of available options will depend on the extension you have installed on your main WP dashboard. For example, in order to have domain monitoring as an option, you need to have the main WP domain monitor extension configured. The default selection for these data sections is hide if empty, which means that the section will be omitted if no activity occurred for it during the range of the report. So if there were no updates to WordPress core, that section would not be present in the report. You can also always show or always hide any of these sections if you prefer. In the Custom Branding tab, you can customize the report further. You can upload your agency logo and header image for the first page of the PDF and customize the colors of the report. Next, we will configure and customize the actual email that your clients will receive. In the Send Email From Field, enter your email address. And in the Send Email To Field, you can leave the client email and client name tokens. These are the fields we've defined for our newly created client previously in this video. You can further customize the subject of the email and the body of the email here. Fields that support tokens have the usual Insert Tokens link next to them. 
Optionally, you can also choose a different email template that will change the look of the email, add a BCC address, or add additional email attachments. Next, in the sidebar, select the sites for which you wish to send out the newly created report. You can preview the report, which will create an HTML preview in the pop-up model, like this. You can also download the PDF of the report to inspect it as well. Finally, click the Schedule Report button to finish setting up your report. For in-depth information covering all functionality of the extension, have a look at our written documentation.